Boys and girls, once I place down this spiky stadium, we will see for sure who is stronger, the Fortnite cube or the spiky stadium. And we're gonna place it down here in three, two, one. No way! How we doing boys and girls welcome back to another video and in this video we're gonna be trying a little something different since the fortnite cube is on its way to loot lake we already know that all of that's confirmed but i want to try one thing since the new spiky stadium has been added into fortnite battle royale i wanted to try one last ditch effort to try to fill up this entire loot lake with the spiky stadiums to see if it will stop the fortnite cube from doing its activation thing and destroying all of loot lake very quickly before we start off this video, if you are a fan of the end of season 5 with this whole Fortnite cube thing, make sure to leave a like on this video and make sure to comment down below what your favorite thing about the Fortnite cube is, how do you feel about this whole season 5 ending with Loot Lake and the Fortnite cube, and also if you are a new renter, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on because I got a bunch of Fortnite videos that I got planned and you guys are not going to want to miss them, they're going to be super funny. And without further ado guys, let's get right into filling all of Loot Lake up with spiky stadiums. Alright boys and girls, so the mission is to fill up all of Loot Lake with spiky stadiums and I counted it out and we're going to need exactly 10 spiky stadiums to fill it all up. So the way this is going to work is when one of these guys lands down, I'm going to go and fly over to it, then use the impulse grenades to fly right back here, place it down as fast as I can and then run back to another one. I'm going to be doing this on a fresh playground lobby as well, so I have the max one hour to get 10 of these to Loot Lake. I think it's going to be a challenge, but I think I could get it done all by myself. Alright boys and girls, so I am back in the lobby and once I click play here, I have exactly one hour to get 10 spiky stadiums to Loot Lake to try to stop the Fortnite cube. Alright, so I am right over the entire Fortnite map here, so what I'm going to do very quickly is once I get to the middle of the map, so right about here, I'm going to get off, but I'm not going to dive right down into it. I'm going to just use my glider and I'm going to wait for all of the red parachute thingies to fly down. Alright, so we're at the middle here. I'm going to immediately deploy my glider and I am not going to dive. I'm going to wait for these spiky things to come down. I think they're in special red boxes as well. So we're going to have to check that out. All right, boys and girls, we are on the clock. We have exactly 55 minutes to get this all done. All right, guys, I found one already. It is right here by Greasy Grove here and we're going to go over to it and get it as soon as possible. And then we're going to use the impulse nades that it has there to try to get to loot like as fast as we can. And on top of that, we got lucky. We got a loot llama right here so I can get myself a bunch of extra supplies as well if I need it. But I don't really think I will. I just, all I really need is the impulse nades and even a jump pad would be great. I think I got one in this so that's really good as well. So this design here is actually pretty cool as well. You have, it's all red. I don't even know why. But here we go, guys. I have the spiky stadium. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try to use the impulse nades to get there as fast as possible. All right, putting down the first nade. And we are on the way, guys. We are already the way to Loot Lake. And hopefully, I do not take too much damage as we are trying to get there. I got to be really careful here as I don't want to take any fall damage here. This is a really scary drop. So we're going to try to go and get to the cart I think this is possible too. I'm going to try to get to the cart and try to do that, uh, the rift thing here. Because I think there's a rift here as well. Let's do it. I'm not even on the right, I'm not even in, on the driver's seat. But we're going to do it anyway. Oh no, I missed. Okay. I guess this doesn't matter anyways. We're going to go here. Keep going. Trying to get to Loot Lake as fast as possible to deliver the first spiky stadium. Okay, so we're going to go and jump. We're going to use one nade right here and we're going to jump in the middle to try to place it here and we're going to try to place it so it has room um here seems like a good spot so in three two one okay it's placing okay i think we got it perfectly too okay this is awesome okay so we already have one out of ten spiky stadiums done now this is two out of ten so let's open it in three two one okay we got a bunch of impulse nades so we're going to collect these so i already see two other ones here so that's two out of ten 3 out of 10, 4 out of 10, so that's already 4 out of the 10 spiky stadiums that we need to complete this challenge. And here we go, it is placing down, and I think we got the perfect angle on it as well. I'm scanning for any other ones, I currently don't see any, but having 2 here is already a pretty good advantage, so I'm going to grab all of these in one soup, so I'm going to go over to this one here, and I think I see another one over there as well, but I'm going to grab this one, no wait, that was Tomato Town, my bad or tomato temple, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to grab this one by and save a little bit of time. So on the way back, I'm going to grab that one as well. Here we go. We already have, this is three out of 10 and we're going to grab four out of 10 right there. Luckily it did land. 
on Loot Lake. And as you guys can already see, Loot Lake is already getting packed with the Spiky Stadium. So we're going to go and place this next one right here. Once again, what we're going to do, we're going to impulse right here and we're going to go and place it right here in three, two, one. And here we go. I got a perfect angle on it as well. So let's see. Hopefully, all of these spiky stadiums will actually help out. But this is our progress so far. We are actually making some really good progress. So since the spiky stadium landed right here, I think the right thing to do would be to place it right here by that chest. And we got a bunch of impulse nades as well, but all we really need is a spiky stadium. And of course, we're going to place it right here. I think this is the perfect spot to put it as well. So in three, two, one, here we go. Okay, that one actually placed really weirdly. I thought it would place a little closer to the edge there, but it doesn't matter. All right, guys, so we're halfway done with this challenge. We have the fifth Spiky Stadium, and we're going to go to deliver it to Loot Lake right now. I was taking some else with the impulse landing before when I was trying to see if this video was actually possible, but I think I actually have the hang of it now. I haven't impulse needed it in a while. I just personally don't use it in my strategy when I'm trying to win a Fortnite game. But that's just me, guys. Let me know down below in the comments as well what your personal strategy is for winning a Fortnite game. All right, so we just used our last impulse grenade, and we were actually here. And luckily, I'm pretty sure that we're going to place this next one right over here. There is a little bit of room right here to place this fifth Fortnite stadium, and we are actually halfway done. Once I place this one... Okay, so this is the 6 out of 10 that we need to get this challenge done. So let's get it. Let's go and get in the cart and see if this is actually worth our time. Okay, we're actually going pretty fast with this. I'm mildly surprised. I'm going to use this until we get out of Pleasant Park. And then once we do, I'm going to go and switch back to the Fortnite Impulse Grenades. It's actually surprisingly fast for what it is. And I think once you go down a steep um, hill like this, you actually do get some momentum. So I'm going to stick with this for now. And hopefully this thing doesn't get destroyed in the process, but it probably will knowing me. And of course, I got myself stuck in this situation. I don't even know how it was possible, how it got flipped like that, but it did. But let's just go ahead and place these six Fortnite spiky stadium. Let's place this spiky stadium down here in three, two, one. Here we go. Fortnite stadium six is placed. So let's get it. I'm going to see if there's anything in this chest as well. And of course, nothing of value. Okay, so our progress so far is actually pretty hilarious. We are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 10 done. We might not even need 10 actually because I'm looking at this and the way that I'm placing them is in a really awkward fashion. I was just theorizing if I could just place them next to each other, but I guess we're going to get this done with maybe 7 or 8. I'm not too sure, guys. Okay, guys, there is hope. I just found another one over there. I've never been to this part of the map either. I've always kind of thought of this part of the map to be like nobody ever goes here, but apparently there is some kind of manually built structure there. But let's just go and grab number seven. I think this is number seven. If you guys don't know, I'm actually really bad at math. So please do not go yelling at me in the comments. But here we are grabbing ourselves whatever number this is. I'm pretty sure this might be one of the last ones that we need. And I placed the wrong thing. I am horrible at this game. All right, so we just grabbed two and ones. And surprisingly, they actually take up different inventory slots. I never thought about that. But I thought they would stack. I guess they can't. But let's go ahead and use the impulse nades and get there as fast as we can. We are actually quite a ways away. But I think we will make it on time before the game actually ends and on top of that i'm pretty sure the fortnite cube is going to be moving in a little bit as well and we're in luck we actually have ourselves the anti-gravity rune here so we actually get a little bit of a speed boost as you can see from there that is super fun will this loot llama be nice enough to give us a jump pad let's see in three two one and yes this loot llama was nice enough to give us a jump pad so we actually got ourselves a little bit of a speed increase so let's get it all right this should definitely be high enough so let's go and place the normal jump pad and we're gonna jump here in three two one that's awesome okay so there's one of these here so i'm gonna just go and grab one of these so we can get there as fast as we can and hopefully i don't crash it on the way there again because that would be horrible. And we made it here with 29 health to spare. It was a pain trying to get here from all the way over here by like Lonely Lodge. But let's do it here. So we're going to place it down in 3, 2, 1. Perfect, dude. Oh my god. Just seeing... Oh my gosh. Just seeing this entire thing get built is just so cool to me. I don't know why. We might actually need one or two more to fill this up entirely. But I think we're guys... We're almost done here. We almost filled this up. 
And on top of that, we have half an hour to spare. I think this challenge is in the bag. We're going to go and place one more, I think, right over here. Considering that this area could be hit by the Fortnite cube since it is on the same side. But we're going to go and find maybe one or two more because I want to try something at the end. So make sure to watch to the very end. I want to try to see if we place an entire Fortnite stadium right next to the Fortnite cube, what's going to happen. So Paradise Palms is inside the very spawn point of the cube itself. So let's see if we can find ourselves any more of these red supply drops. Luckily, I do have a jump pad here, so I won't have to die once I get up. Oh, there we go. Two more. That's it, guys. Those are the last two that we need to complete this challenge. All right, here we go. I'm going to place the jump pad down. But before I do jump on the jet pad, I have a challenge for you guys. If you guys can leave a like on this video within the next five seconds, you guys will have insanely good luck for the next five years. All right, guys, I hope you guys did it. But here we go. We're going to go and jump there in style and let's do it. So we're going to go, of course, and grab this one first. And then on the way back, we're going to grab this one as well. All right, so here we go. This is seven out of eight, I think. All right, so this is the last red supply drop that I need to finish this challenge. So let's open it, guys, in three, two, one. Let's do it. Here we go. The final one that I need is in my inventory. So let's get there as fast as we can back to Loot Lake. I can't believe we did this within the span of just under an hour. This is actually insane. I definitely think this is going to stop the Fortnite cube once it eventually hits Loot Lake. Okay, guys, we have an issue. I accidentally placed down another one of these spiky stadiums on top of Loot Lake. I actually didn't know it even had a bottom, but apparently it does. But luckily, we do have one more to complete this challenge. All right, guys, since I accidentally did place that one, what I'm going to do instead of placing this one right over there, I want to place this spiky stadium right on top of the Fortnite cube, and we're going to see what ends up happening. If Loot Lake does end up turning into a volcano, you guys know why, because I didn't place the final one right there. Alright guys, so we are in the vicinity of the cube, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw this spiky stadium right on top of the Fortnite cube, and I want to see what's going to happen. I really think that this cube is actually going to self-destruct and destroy right here. I'm just cleaning up this entire area over here, so if something crazy does happen, you guys will have a good view of what actually does. Boys and girls, once I place down this spiky stadium, we will see for sure who is stronger, the Fortnite cube or the spiky stadium. And we're going to place it down here in 3, 2, 1. No way! Okay guys, so assessing the damage, it looks like the cube might have actually lost. I'm not kidding with you guys. I think this might have destroyed the cube in general. I can't even see it. The cube is nowhere to be found, so I think I might have actually glitched it out of the game. Guys, I can't believe we saved my loot lake. Obviously, the cube is still active in other areas of the game, in the actual main server. So, unfortunately, we will probably never be able to stop loot lake from doing whatever it has to do with the Fortnite cube. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash a fat like on this video and also comment down below what your favorite part of this video was. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on because I have a bunch of fun videos playing that you guys are not going to want to miss out. Crazy stuff like this is what I want to be doing on this channel on a daily basis. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.